Hey, what's up? How's it going? Hi. High five, psych. Okay, um... Here's my resume. Tell me what you think. This resume needs a lot of work. So, everything should be in black and white. No six colors necessary. Black and white is great. Also, the font size should all be consistent, except for your name, which should be in larger font. Also, the alignment and formatting should be very clean and concise, making it very easy for an employer to read all the way through. Lastly, for grad students in some majors, it is okay to have two to three pages, but in most cases, as it is in John's, we just need one page. For the heading, your name should be the largest on the page so that the employer can find yours in this big pile of resumes. Your address, your phone number, your email should all be clearly visible to the employer. Your email should be professional, no hot chick 347 or something like that, but instead John Doe at yahoo.com is perfect. Next is the objective. It should be clear and concise. On his old resume, John has, I want a job. That's not okay. On his new resume, he has to obtain a part-time position as a student assistant in the Career Center. Now, doesn't that sound better? Next is a summary of qualifications. The employer doesn't have that much time to look through your entire resume, so this is the section in which you can shine. Detailing your qualifications in this section is of the utmost importance. See how John had it previously worded and see how it is now worded. Next is your education. Now, for your education, you're going to want to include UNT, your degree, your major, your GPA, and when you graduate. Also, if you've received the President's List, Dean's List, or any other kind of academic awards, you're going to include them in this section. Next is Skills and Accomplishments. Now, since John has only held one job position in the past, we're going to create a functional resume for him, which means that we're going to highlight on his skills and accomplishments rather than his work experience. So in John's case, he has customer service skills, leadership skills, and his driven qualities displayed on this section. Lastly, John includes his work experience. If you do not have previous experience, that's fine. This is the place where you're going to include your extracurriculars or organization involvement, and any other extra involvement that you have is going to be highlighted in this last section. So let's try this again. Come in! Hello. Hi! Miss Fockton? Yes, Jonathan. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? Doing good. How about yourself? Good. Have a seat. Thank you. So can I get your resume, Jonathan? Yes, ma'am. 